Okay. And we are live. And we are live. We, we are. are a couple of minutes late, but we are live. We Johnny are live. Five is alive. <laughs> alive. Exactly, my friend. This is great. Julio. Hey, man. Hope you're doing well. How, how you been? How's your day? I, uh, I usually I'm don't start with it, but you're hanging in T there. Today today was was real busy. There was hey, a lot of good stuff today. It's it's a I rough guess. week, man. It's a rough week. We're like I, we're almost doing daily videos at this point. It's almost like a daily yeah. vlog of situation. And I have yeah, another video I mean, coming up tomorrow morning. <laughs> and and, and early embargoes for the first of the, for the beginning of the week. And then Absolutely. Um, I finally caught up on a major review that I've been super excited to to like to, to finally talk about. That happened today. Yep, tomorrow yep, yep. is gonna be camera review for the right. Vivos. I mean, there's just it's a lot. This is good. I love it. It, it. It's busy time, but it's definitely fun stuff. It's a lot of fun stuff. I, I've i I've been, I mean, I've literally posted a video every, you had the podcast on Monday. I posted a video Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, a couple of shorts, not not all of them uh, in there. Um, and we actually hit up a couple of things at the same time, which we did, I didn't even mm -hmm. know you had the Infinix. I had the Infinix at the yeah. same time. Um, obviously, the Mob Boy, we both <laughs> had that for mm -hmm. some time. Uh, but I want to say first and foremost, uh, welcome to everybody. Uh, it, it is literally us, us kind of catching up. We haven't had a chance to talk since last week. So we were kind of kind of rambling and talking. But um, I see already Darren's in the chat. David's in the chat as well with us. Um, and I want to see Gabi, uh, you know, Gabriela's in there. Um, it's been a week. It's a it's a week of... It's well, it's a week. Of, yeah, I was going to say, and we're not done. Uh, this next oh, week is going to be... Oh, we've just even... gotten started. <laughs> like phones haven't even arrived. No, we no, no, no. I, I, there are some things... Um, there are still some things coming, but um, the overall feeling of this uh, this month has not gone to waste. It is still building up. Um, Juan and I had a couple of good chances to play with the Infinix Note 10, Note 11 Pro. We'll mm -hmm. talk about that. I don't know why I said Note 10. Uh, Greg is in the chat as well. And then, of course, we have Android 12 coming in with Color OS 12 from Alpo. And uh, right there, Infinix, my buddy, man, right there. The, the backing on it. The the material they well, used well, for the well, back was very nice. Save, save it. Don't don't blow the show. We'll <laughs> okay. we'll get back to the Infinix. It's, <laughs> we'll it's, do it right out. It's gonna happen. Um, and then of course there's the other <laughs> massive thing that Juan dropped on Twitter today regarding the update that Rode finally pushed out for our Android app uh, for the wireless go. Yes, for our favorite wireless go wireless. Uh, actually, it is literally a favorite ever since I've received it. It's been my main audio input for any video, any kind yeah, of content, like even when we. Like this has completely changed up my workflow. This is one of the most versatile mm -hmm. uh, recording pieces of kit in the Absolutely. prosumer space that I've ever played with. Exactly. And Rhodes' commitment to improving Keep the improving. functionality has, has been incredible. So yeah. Every time. I, Pushing new updates, new features, and now the ability of, um, I think what, the overall improvements that we got here was the ability of controlling the settings inside of our Android app. So yeah. you no longer need to rely on a PC for changing settings. Um, and hopefully, we as you said, need, you're doing, we still say, need audio. background recording so that we can yep. pull the recordings off of this and put it onto tablets or phones. Um, you know, because right now, you know, the, the, the whole idea, and, and this mm -hmm. is what's so exciting to me as an audio nerd is five years ago, the rig that I would have to travel with if I wanted to record a decent podcast mm -hmm. was still formidable. Like it was still like a proper computer, microphone, stands, or if I wanted to go with labs, I'd probably want to go like uh, Sennheiser Evos or something like that. Like if I really wanted to trust that I was going to get this audio and produce something high quality in, in something more mobile, mm -hmm. we are so close now to making this literally like two little snap on boxes that you clip to someone's shirt and a mm -hmm. phone yep. and genuinely having like field recording and mobile production facility style um Audio yeah. mm -hmm. and, and, what, and background noise cancellation yeah exactly great and, and that this will run not just like oh you can kind of do it that it will run great from a phone that would have cost you four hundred dollars last year. Yeah, that's that's where we're at now, and and the I democratization of that kind of mobile production is insane. Mm -hmm. We need one more update from Road to to make like the full realization of this happen. But now we are we are so um, we are so ahead of the curve. Like if you just wanted to do the wireless version of this, mm -hmm. it already works phenomenally well. And now all we need is this one additional feature to make sure that we've got the safety net. And everything can be accomplished mobile. 
from a phone. Yep. It's it's yep. absolutely fantastic. And, and that's how it should be. It's a wireless Go. It's in the title. It's the Go. It's the mobile part of it. Um, it's intended to be more versatile. I I love the fact that it's the, the system comes with two mics at the start with, but the mm -hmm. fact that we were able to go to the park, prop up a phone, plug in the mic, uh, plug in the uh, the USB C uh, audio in, and yep. both of us had microphones, and literally like the audio part of the podcast, although the video Done. was a little bit shaky, was solid. And any and yeah. we had backup audio, which but we needed a PC for it. So um, I'm glad that they are still updating it. I'm I'm hoping for even more updates, but I I'm very yeah. much very much vested right now in the ecosystem for for what Rode can offer and it works great with my Sony cameras and, works with most smartphones again oh yeah just, yeah especially if you know what cable to plug in it will also <laughs> work with phones that have headphone jacks no um wait uh, phones have headphone is, jacks yeah that still that happens crazy I, I've heard rumors crazy yeah I heard that it was just too thick for it's making the phones too thick and we can't use those yeah. anymore yeah, and the batteries needed the space that's what I, I speaking it was, Reputable. Speaking of uh, phones with, with headphone jacks, I've I've got to yeah. I've got to you know use this as our transition. Love it. I uh, quite possibly the most important tech news story of the day. Like folks, this is earth shattering. This is groundbreaking. This is fundamentally going to rock how you view mobile technology. Um, if you know, as I'm sure most of our audience here is wholly invested in dual display as the superior multitasking platform over Holy. any kind of silly bendy screen, <laughs> whatever that's all about. But I'm sure you've been- Shots fired, my this. friend. Shots fired right there, but yeah. Um, no, going. because it's just the truth. Again, anyone who's watching this is already way smarter than all of those other tech nerds. So they already know what's up. I mean, already I, I know that that they that they're they're up to uh, up up for uh, what I'm going to talk about here. I dig. I dig. It's it's that. Uh, uh, but I'm sure those 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 folks here in in this chat right now have been extremely anxious and and super critical to know. I'm sure like there's money riding on this in Las <laughs> Vegas right, is right now. Um, that there are still two dual display phones that have not received Android 11 yet. It, it well, is. folks, if you were concerned, if you were really anxious to know of the Surface Duo and, and the, the LG V50, which one would get Android 11 first? I'm going to say Your V50. Your prayers have been answered. The LG V50 has yeah, been I... updated. <laughs> Android 11, it's not current because android 12 is out, <laughs> it's out. but it's finally as, as been of, updated i was gonna say yeah, as of last monday right uh, not this monday the monday before android. we've had android 12 officially released yes oh my god so so still a whole android generation <laughs> behind but I, we yeah. that does mean that one of my absolute favorite Hardware the engineers at LG did not go home yet. I guess, yeah, it's the yes, yeah. exactly. I was L say. LG Mobile has, has, yes. has, has completely shuffled off its mortal coil, except for like a ragtag group of software developers buried like in a basement. In, I think what happened, it, it, I'm hoping, is they just never get the news, right? They just keep working <laughs> and we keep oh. getting updates. Like, wait, what? oh, they said that they closed <laughs> the mobile device, we're not selling more phones. What happened? It's it's like, you know, was that one like Pan Pacific Island where they found like a Japanese soldier 20. 20 years after World Later. War II. And he thinks never the got the memo gonna, yeah, that never, the never war was over. Yeah. That's what we need. We need five guys in a basement in South Korea just <laughs> South going Korea. like, oh, I guess I'll uh, keep working on it. Android 12, you say? Yes, we could work Android 12. It'll be next year around Android 13 release. <laughs> Sorry, that's that's just. I, I mean, we're making joke out, but obviously, it, it is still great news to fact to see that it is actually somewhat current. I mean, yeah. the reality is, twelve is released, but twelve is really more released for <laughs> pixels and different devices. The oh, fact that it got you're being far too kind. I I am I am still the biggest fan of LG smartphones, but this was always this was always. Well, so, but yours, by the way, yours is the the, the thing we could make fun of as uh, the Sprint version. No, 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 no. So I mean, I, I'm 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 doing the dual display version. Oh, so um, yeah. So, so, so the, this the is why the sprint why, version is proper dead. I believe T T Mobile when they finally started doing the Sprint T Mobile merger, um, it was actually a pretty serious initiative at Sprint to start pulling V50s from customers because they weren't going to oh. support any of the bands at T Mobile, and they already knew that in that year time frame. So okay. so I mean, like 
the dozen phones that Sprint sold. That doesn't, yeah. Um, I, I think even someone in our Discord, like, mm -hmm. went into Sprint and was having some issues, and they were like, yes, we can fix this, and your phone will still work, but we're basically... It's it's like you know a memo that we received from corporate that we should take your phone and give you a Galaxy to replace it. I mean, it was like it was like an in the store exchange. I can't remember who that was now. Okay. Um, but yeah, so unfortunately, um, if, if you're still on an American uh, V45, because it technically isn't. Oh, that's a right. V50. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't a V50. Um, um, they they you changed probably the number. Aren't, aren't getting this update yeah so that one time when you, you and i went to that event i took the mm -hmm. 7 pro the one plus 7 mm -hmm. pro and yeah that one's bona fide just doesn't work on anything now it just sits no. there it's it's, it's a good wi-fi phone yeah that, and it doesn't get any more updates or anything like that but it was more it was interesting because i was like oh wait now it works on t-mobile right let me try the t-mobile sim i called at i called t-mobile and they're like no you got to go sure. down and talk to simple sprint people i talked to them about oh yeah that one's not supported anymore i'm like yeah, well, a lot fun. of that Sprint 5G, again, I know That's customers weird. are going to blame the manufacturer of the phones. Like, why did Sprint, uh, like, why did LG sell me a phone that doesn't work anymore? But really, mm -hmm. Sprint completely screwed anyone who wanted to be bleeding edge on 5G, except, I Sam believe Samsung Galaxy. still I had, say, yeah, still had the clout to say, we're making this, this version of the phone, and it's going to be a lot more supported for all these other bands. And That's Sprint true. just had to say, okay, we can't tell you no. <laughs> no, nah, it, 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 so. you know what? It's, it's, a, it's always a funny story to see. Um, Sprint's conversation was really more controlled by the fact that it was bought out by T-Mobile. So it was yeah. more about Sprint being absorbed as opposed to uh, an actual true merger where both ecosystems. T-Mobile's right, benefit, the thing, obviously. The thing that makes me frustrated <laughs> about that, and especially for the OnePlus and the V50 experiments mm -hmm. that Sprint foisted on their consumers is, the it was with their first uh, 5G was, devices? Was, no, no, no. The Sprint T-Mobile merger was not a surprise. Mm -mm. And they had to have had a roadmap. And Sprint still went ahead with a 5G roadmap and commissioned these phones. And the, the LG is a very specific kind of one-off. The, uh, the V45 V40. that we got in the United States is different than the South Korean variant. Mm -hmm. And Sprint opted to have that version on their network. So to sit here for, for them to to sort of like, oh, well, we got absorbed and our network got shut off. Like, no, no, no. Th this, this was a roadmap that they had to have been aware of and that screwed their customers. And, and there was a, this, yeah, is, a decision somewhere, somewhere, somehow did this. Uh, well, and they we'll make to... an executive purchasing decision for literally the next fiscal quarter. And then if anyone has the phone after that, well, sucks to be them. Is is not is we'll not give them a, no 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 they're like it's okay we'll give them a galaxy but they didn't want a galaxy man they wanted an LG they really wanted that V fifty V forty five experience um, it was a good event I remember the the event was actually yeah, very was nice fun. it was it was literally the only three manufacturers Samsung team sorry Samsung OnePlus and LG were the only three manufacturers on the table but that was exciting because Sprint usually doesn't have that kind of broad collection of it, it was here yeah. we had a trio a OnePlus that was the surprise for, for me yeah exactly yeah. Because the um, 7T, or so the 7 Pro was not a 5G device in the US. It was a 4G LTE at the time. And this version of it was the only 5G, and it was Sprint 5G to run. So actually, we did a, we did a live stream on the V45, mm -hmm. right? Our, actually, yep. right after the event, you and I sat, up, sat outside, and we did a uh, uh, one of our uh, quick live streams afterward. I, I, man, that was a fun time. Marina del Rey, yeah. summer, beautiful weather. So um, anyway, uh, to yeah. completely sidetrack the podcast, long story, if long. you happen to have a South Korean V500 and not an American V450, you should be in line for Android 11, all the goodness. And I flip in love having this like first generation dual display that doesn't block the charge port. Yeah, all the uh, way. The camera version. is still phenomenal. On on this exact phone, I was using this as like a production camera because I, I couldn't use it on T-Mobile's network. And I've got my daughter's, the edited video that I put together of my daughter's first haircut, Thanksgiving from two years ago, Christmas from two years ago. Like this was the camera I was using to shoot all of that. And like the audio is fantastic. I was plugging mics directly into the headphone jack. Mm -hmm. 60 frame per second 4K video was the first to software stabilize on both the main camera and the ultra wide. 
Like this thing is still today a monster content creation. It's the granddaddy machine. of the It's it's if insane. you think about it, the dual display. I mean, after that it was the what's it called? Yeah. The LG G eight, then it was the V sixty, and then it was the Velvet, and all of them carried it through um the dual display right. i mean the korean was so, the only so one that did it yeah on the p on the dual v4. display but this was the last year that they also had 4k 60 frame per second on the ultra wide mm -hmm. and this is the main variant it was the v40 and the v50 where lg still had a different software stack for audio in the camera app so oh. when you record audio from a v50 it doesn't gut the the sound for all of that really heavy-handed noise reduction mm -hmm. the v50 audio is like pure it is so clean it is so easy to work with if you need to do a little light noise reduction you can do that in another app you can do yeah. that in power director the, the camera doesn't wreck the audio when you're trying to use it and okay. so even against phones today oh and then also um the smaller camera sensor and the lower power soc means that you get more stable and longer video recording in 4k 60 than you can get from most modern phones you just lack that sort of hyper color hdr video effect that all phones yeah. kind of slap on today so you just got to bump up the sat saturation and the vibrance a little when you edit and the footage runs way longer sounds way better and the phone is just a, a, an absolute tank like. at getting video content chewed up i mean it's really a shame because like for as many people were kind of making fun of v50s into v60s and stuff i think we've really kind of lost some of what made these powerhouse devices so appealing mm -hmm. and you know just picking it up again literally like i'm going through video projects that i cut on this phone for family for family events just like i did so much work from this and i'm still picking it up today yeah Sometimes yeah. this is still the better tool for me to get stuff done than a much newer, more more powerful, fancier, more expensive phone. No, I, I get it. I get it. No, I think the uh, we've always, I, I think I've always known how much you really like the V50 for for some time, even back then when we saw the V45 or the the Sprint variant mm -hmm. of it. Um, I think I at think the end I of the day, I still have it over there. The oh, I, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, there's yeah, no, no point like even said, turning no it on anymore. anymore. It, it won't get an update. It's not going to do anything because a lot of those were going through Sprint. That's the the reason why the my seven Pro isn't doing nothing. It's because Sprint stopped supporting it. It's not that OnePlus doesn't have updates. Um, I just also haven't haven't had the time oh speaking of which they also locked the bootloader on it so that it's not as easily yeah. to unlock as uh regular one pluses which is also always fun because that would have been the easiest thing for me is just unlock the bootloader flash a custom rom and then boom the phone works no. as anything but no no that doesn't happen no. <laughs> not for you no. tk no soup for you um but I do want to have to say the biggest surprise, which I I, I totally didn't see this coming, because like I said, we haven't had a chance to talk since last week. Um, and this morning you dropped like the mother of all what videos? Right? Like yeah. seriously? It's pretty sweet. Their dynamics? Like where did it's you? Good. When did that happen, man? What? 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 So I don't know how I got on Vera Dynamics radar. Well, first, um, congratulations I'll, for being on the you. radar. <laughs> I was going to say. I, I was as surprised <laughs> as anyone. He's like, excuse me. Yeah. <clears throat> excuse me. Hold on one second. Because I'll say that I was actually debating picking ah, it up. I saw go. it after you and I talked about it last time. Because we talked about it. This is the weird thing, okay. right? We so, talked so, about it. So, so let's, let's, let's just kind of pump the brakes here. I, I put out a full video if you want like my, my real granular thoughts and talking about different kind of musical genres and stuff like that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That video currently available, and I, I flick and, flip and lerve these headphones. Um, but like a couple years back, I, I talked to their PR about doing a review late on the Lagoons, which mm -hmm. were their Bluetooth cans, which I really liked until I dropped them. And then I had all kinds of headband rattling, creaking. Like Ooh, they wow. went from being pretty good with a little self noise to being like, for someone who suffers misophonia, like completely unwearable, like nails on a chalkboard. Um, oh, and, wow. And a lot I of, never really okay. got much of a reply back from Bear Dynamic over those issues. Um, they reached out. They said, hey, we've got a loner pair. We can hook you up with these for a couple of days. Like I've already got, I'm already get. I, I'd be wearing them now. Except oh, that I'm already packing. Dude, I put up. these on specifically to talk about yeah. this. So um, 
the uh, DT700 Pro X is, uh, is a really delightful refresh on what makes a pair of bear dynamic headphones such a studio staple. Mm -hmm. um, I can't speak as much to the 900X or the DT990s just because I've never used those in studio conditions. Often in the voiceover studios that I work in, they're not super, you know, antiseptically treated for outside noise. So you just mm -hmm. get into a habit of wearing closed back cans. A lot of yep. voiceover studios throughout Southern California, especially some of the smaller mama pop studios in Burbank, if you're really trying to focus and mix and you've got multiple studios going on and you can kind of hear some of the bleed that's coming through in the control rooms, all of their money goes into Close walling back. off the booth. Oh, not yeah, that's true. The not the actual room. control room. Absolutely. So, yeah. Everything so is in there. You, 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 as the engineer, you kind of get into these habits. And you'll see plenty of Sony MDRs. You'll see every now and then you'll see some Sennheisers. I don't know why the Senni headphones aren't quite as popular in a lot of these studios. But what I've been cutting audio the most on are DT770s. And so uh, the 700s, that it, that's, that's kind of precious. In audio land, if you, if you upgrade something, that's not always taken as a good thing. Mm -hmm. If a mixing engineer, recording engineer is really familiar with the sound of a certain pair of monitors or a certain pair of headphones, changing that on them forces them to relearn a vital part of their workflow. Because they've trusted, like, when I'm hearing audio through these, I know I need to mix in certain ways to account for certain kinds of EQ, to account for certain filters, to edit in a particular fashion. I know the frequency response of Bear Dynamics are not flat. They actually have a pretty substantial presence peak in the upper mids and in the highs. And mm -hmm. once you feel that, you know how to mix around that. Okay. And so what, what, was, what was very reassuring and, and again one of the happy discoveries of listening to the 700s is the learning curve going from 770s to 700 pro x's would be very minimal so mm -hmm. if you were to replace your 770s and you thought hey you know what? i want to give these a try i feel like they would complement that work like like they would fit in well and you wouldn't have to relearn your listening you just have to make some small adjustments to just some of the articulation and some of the clarity, some of the detail. I think okay. Dynamic has done an incredible job mm -hmm. of refreshing a product, but maintaining what has made it such a consistent choice in audio reproduction. So, so if you're already on the 770s, like the 770s you have, mm -hmm. you're not going to hear a radically different sound. Okay. Where I feel someone who owns the 770s might appreciate the 700s is that they're more concerned about things like uh, replacing the cable. So if anything that, happens that was to the a, cable yeah. on your 770s, which is not detachable on the 770. Yeah. Well, the 770s are repairable, repairable, but you have to completely detach the ear cup, pull the driver, and then re solder the connections to the ear cup to replace that cable. It's a soldering. I mean, you can do oh, it's it. Not, it it's, yeah, it, it, sounds, it sounds like it's a little bit of a, I mean, I, it, it doesn't sound too It's a little bit much. Yeah, yeah. But on the 700s, you detach a mini XLR connector, which is a standard connector, and you plug in a new one, and then you just keep listening again. And so it, it's those little things that I think are, are nice. You know, subtle changes, the new ear cups are a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the clamp. I, I, I could the, see the that. Foam, yeah, there are, the foam was a little bit thicker. A little bit like, thicker. Yeah, exactly. But also squarer, which makes a more distinct um, cylinder mm -hmm. around your ear, as opposed to the 770s, which I feel have like kind of a softer mold to your head. A little but bit bigger too. They're wider on the ears when you're putting them on. They don't really. The 770s are wider. Yeah. The 700s mm -hmm. come in narrower because of that extra foam density. Mm -hmm. um, but because of that, while I think the 770s have just a slightly more open stereo image, the 700s do a noticeably better job of blocking noise. And the 770s are already pretty good. They're like, pretty decent, yeah, the they're, because they're they, close back as well, so you don't really get a lot well, of... So, 
close back yes I mean, so again I, there are so many cans no, no. i put on my ears where close back there's two just versions muffled. of the 700 right the 700 pro x there's the close back and then there's the open well back. the 900 are the open oh, back so sorry, the 900s yeah. so the new ones i guess the 990s the 700s complement complements the 770s, the 770s. So, um, but, but I've, yeah. I've put on closed back headphones that like, I can still kind of hear everything that's going on around me. The mm -hmm. 770s block a reasonable amount of sound, but keep just a slightly more open stereo feel. Mm -hmm. The 770s, the, the, the image is narrower. It's, it's like instruments are not quite as wide around my head but it is noticeably quieter. And, and the 770s arrive mm -hmm. with passive noise reduction that just you mean barely starts to compete against like, I'm sorry, uh -huh. the 700s. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, I think, I think at, one, at one point, I think you switched the two around and it was like- uh, It's a bunch of numbers, TK. I read it up. <laughs> numbers are hard, all right? They um, are. But, but they arrive with passive noise reduction that yeah. genuinely, gets you right up to the edge of like less expensive headphones that have active noise cancellation. I mean, no, I, they, 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 they muffle and they reduce, but they don't do that thing. Like my HD 25s, like I've got those Samsung kind of DJ style headphones mm -hmm. that I've used on set for years. Those block a little bit more noise than the 700s, but they do so by having that split clamp with mm -hmm. on ear ear pads. Okay. So they don't circle your ears, they mash your ears to the side of your head, and they're extremely uncomfortable for longer periods of time, but you will not hear anything else when you put those on. The mm -hmm. 770s, I mean, the 700s split a perfect balance between that clamp action of like the HD 25s, uh, but not with, um, but, but, you know, kind of in between where the 770s and the HD 25s would be. It's, it's really uh, just genuinely good work. Um, so, I, I mean, I would have been shocked if Bear Dynamic had put out a bad headphone. These <laughs> these are really do, properly good professional solutions. Do they list the uh, impedance on these guys? Because I could I couldn't 40, see it on the web. Oh, okay. So these are okay. So lower impedance. Yeah, the whole point on this seven hundred, and I don't mm -hmm. know if they're going to give us variants like they do on the seven seventies. Because the seven seventies, yeah, there's the forty eighth, and then there's the higher ones. There's, yeah. there, there's an eighty ohm and a two fifty ohm, and I believe there's there's a lower tier one too. Anyway, okay. um, I've only listened on the eighties and two fifties. I only and I only own the two fifties now, and I only own the two fifties as well. Yeah. So the lovely? um. The, the one of the major marketing bullet points on the 700s is arriving at something that has kind of that classical professional sound mm -hmm. that we understand from a bare dynamic headphone, but also something that is easily more accessible. So if you need to drive these off of a lower power USB audio interface, if you need to drive these off of a tablet or a laptop, oh, that's or a right. That's right. Lower, the lower impedance would, would benefit from that. You're right. They're, they're supposed to be more flexible for a wider variety of situations without sacrificing what makes a low distortion, high articulation, very detailed headphone work in a professional setting. And again, I think, I think in, in balancing those compromises, Bear Dynamic has done a phenomenal job. I, I have to say, and also the, the microphone that you were using, I think was it the, the, the that yes, was also the, M70. the was, yeah, the M70, that was like yeah. really clean, like very, oh man. Oh um, man. I, I, <laughs> for a dynamic mic it's so I, good i i i almost flipped the I, I almost went and picked one of those up just to replace but this guy has just been so good the yeah, sm57 sm57 is still oh, like one of those like one of the most historically consistent microphones you can put in front of your face oh my, like what bear dynamic has done with a large cartridge broadcast style dynamic microphone is nothing short of shocking this is easily um uh, an easier mic to drive than like an SM7. Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna put it up there in terms of clarity against like RE20s. It, it could with the right kind of combination of interface. I had it plugged into a cloud lifter just to give it a little bit of a nudge, but it didn't. Oh, really I was about need to it. ask is if you needed a cloud lifter because it sounds like it probably doesn't. But yeah, I, I mean, if you if you have a nicer audio interface that can put out a little bit more mic gain, then you mm -hmm. probably don't. But I, I I was plugging into a cloud lifter into a Focusrite 8i6. So not an entry-level okay. Focusrite, but not one of their nicest, most fanciest 
audio interfaces. And I don't love this interface. Focusrite's mm -hmm. USB gear is, is, is very prosumer in ways that I don't love. Mm -hmm. um, but with the Focusrite, I mean, I had more than half of my game still available, which means I easily could have driven this mic. I mean, I would have been running my mic pre pretty hot, but I mm -hmm. probably could have driven this mic to very similar results without without the cloud lifter in my. Not the cloud lifter stuff. Yeah, no, and that's it, that's that's very surprising for a dynamic mic. I, I think for a review of the uh, the the, the DT seven hundred Pro X and having it done on a very dynamic microphone was a beautiful combination, just to kind of to demonstrate the the range and what you can do with it. Yeah. Uh, but the audio was just so clean. This that it was crazy and, good. And, and no uh, edits. No, like, it, I, I don't. I, I don't imagine. Yeah. None. Yeah, yeah, I could I, I, absolutely. Like I said, sometimes I wish my audio and my videos sounded like this, um, as opposed to having like a live type of an experience, because uh -huh. I just feel like this is a little bit more personal. Yeah. But it is intended to be. This is broadcast. You're, you're obviously the podcast is supposed to be a little bit more personal. Where obviously with video, it's a little bit different because the B roll and all of that. Sure. Um, one thing I did want to mention before we jump off too far. Um, I know we both covered the Infinix, and we want to touch base on that a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, both both of us have been playing a little bit. I mean, kind of, we are shifting off of the microphone, but um, and and of course the the TT seven hundreds. Um, Mob Boy decided to drop an Ultra, like a final, like you know, power activate Wonder Twin. No, wait, do we do this or how do we do this? Yeah. Of Morphin Time? No, is it how do you? I forgot the I'm, move. I'm is giving, it? I'm giving you the oh oh other, other side. Kind of uh, other side. I, Dang it! I'm gonna have to do uh, the this. Wrong, choreography the... isn't gonna work at all. Okay, so that's how we're gonna. We gotta. We gotta fix it. Um, one of these days, we gotta do the Goku like, stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, go right. This way. And, hey. and we don't. We did it. We else. Anyways, hey, Jeff's in the chat, man. Hope you're doing. Uh, you hey, hey, what's up? So, so, so Jeff is rocking the 900s. I so saw his. I yeah. have. So, so, so the Bear Dynamic people reached reached out to me, and they said, like, "Hey, we've got a limited number of products here. Would you pick one?" And to me, the seven hundreds were a no brainer because I have spent years of my life with my head inside the seven seventies. Mm -hmm. I have spent almost no time on the nine mm nineties. -hmm. So Jeff's commentary on the nine hundreds is going to be the balancing point for mine. Yeah. I mean, like my video is going to be about the closed back solution. Jeff is going to have the scoop on the open back solution. But I, I've been very impressed with what Bear Dynamic has accomplished, especially based on what their sort of claims for these products were. I yeah. mean, I think it's just been great work all around. Oh, absolutely. I like I said, if if I wasn't so happy with the uh, the uh, the SM57, I probably would have jumped on that one. Um, I, I barely. <laughs> oh, I I know that feel too, Jeff. All right, be my under wallet. Brother, but I have to buy the rest in peace, my wallet. Yeah, no, rest in peace. A lot of our wallets, have, unfortunately. Yeah, it's I was about to, uh, Dude, next week though, like seriously. So we we've known about we've known about Pixel on the nineteenth for maybe about a couple mm -hmm. of weeks now or so. Google finally confirmed it, and then of course right there you get samsung jumping in the day after and you get apple jumping in the baby the day before how, how funny it seems how almost funny. like samsung and, and apple are just don't a little concerned like they, about google no, getting any kind of messaging out there absolutely no no no. and not only that they, they want to make sure to overshadow there's that whole so apple happens right before we know it's not an iphone that that's already happened so they're not going to talk mobile but obviously, it's more likely probably going to be kind of like in their mobile into their uh, processing, you know, PC, maybe new MacBooks and stuff like that. Um, and maybe we'll get the new AirPods, whatever uh, AirPods Pro three, what, what, uh, whatever number they are, end up being. I don't. Uh, I, 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 I don't, can't be bothered. I'm going to no, have I, Duo no. two showing up. I'm going to be talking Pixel six. Uh, so I, I'm going to be wrapping up some Vivo stuff. I, my main showdown is Vivo versus Pixel Six, just to see those cam camera sensors I, against each I other. I cannot wait. To I get to, to, I got to plenty. Get <laughs> oh, and Aditi is right because there's also a Sony event coming in. What is it? Oh, that's the right. 26th? Sony. Uh, uh, no, I. But it, yes, I think Sony is the week after. Isn't right? Isn't that one of the eight, one of the alphas is going to be coming out or something like that? It's, or was there? It's, an, a, it's a, a twenty six or the twenty. Event? I, did it? I thought it said Xperia. Didn't it say Xperia? Did it say? I I, I saw Sony event. I mean, I've been just kind of catching this from the subreddits. So I no, didn't... all I know is um, on Saturday, <laughs> everybody, everybody in everybody in the chat 
<laughs> bagged on me saying, TK, you're saying the word Xperia way too many too often. Because I said, like, seriously, I think I said Xperia like 7,000 times. Um, hold on, let me see. I, real quick. I don't Stonies. know that we, we've said Xperia enough Xperia. Xperia. I don't think we say enough Xperia. I think the Xperia Xperia is the main Xperia of the Xperia. You need to kind of make sure it's Xperia. Yeah. Uh, it is Xperia. I feel is, we, we uh, need Sony we need new to, product announcement October twenty. We need to properly turn Wait, it 8 into PM? a noun, adjective, and an adverb. Sony's so doing it at eight p.m. Did you see? Did you see that? That it was at actually at eight p.m. Our time. Uh huh. That kind of makes sense. Well, I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, they're probably lining it up to to Japan or something. I, they, I was gonna say they're a Japanese company. So, well, I mean, that, so I, okay, I'll, I'll be honest. I they're 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 they've had in the past our embargoes with them. I think I remember one of them was at 11 p.m. at night one time, right? We, didn't we have to like the first Xperia One Mark II? The, that was the <laughs> when we had it. It was one of those weird, weird conversation. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, oh so. no! There was not a Sony Alpha event. They just came out with their new lens, the seventy two hundred. Oh, so. that's why I had that crossed. Yeah. So the the reviews for seventy two hundred just went out, and Sony sent me a bunch of press releases about the seventy two hundred. All right, that's why my brain did that. So yes, Xperia event on the twenty sixth. New lens for the Alpha shooters already out. So yes, we're good. I was going to say I figured it out. So I'm yeah, slow, I, but I get there. I was talking to Matt over on over Instagram chat. Hey, Josh is in the chat as well. Hey, Josh. Hey, hey and and, Adia, and Gary uh, and Davin Davis. Oh wow, we got a whole bunch more people. Hey, good evening, everybody. Um, so I'm excited. Uh, a lot of people are basically anticipating it could be basically like another Ultra or it could be a Pro. More than likely, it's probably going to be the Pro because I feel like it's you know we're kind of due, but. I'm still waiting for the five Mark three. I don't know why I'm stuck on that. Well, broken I'm, I'm record. hoping this event. No, no, no. I mean, I, I think it's a fair criticism. You don't yeah. buy a Sony because you're going to get the uh, the top of the line processor at the beginning of the year. No, I mean, this is I, now a known entity from the original Xperia mm -hmm. one Mark one that they announce a phone and then it takes a couple months for it to ship in the most profitable regions for Sony. And then after that, it's going to take like another three months for it to come here. And because we keep hearing about Xperia 5s, I'm sure they're going to have something to announce. Maybe another, like, a, like an update for the Pro, something like that. Oh, it could but... be an Ultra. I think Matt, Matt, uh, Matt's uh, wondering if it could be. Remember, if you remember the back, the, uh, I, the Xperia Ultra, I, right? The one, the one that I'm almost 100% mega confident on it not being would be any kind of dual display or folding productivity focused phone yeah it's just I, not I, what the sony I, I, team i don't is yeah no sony's days. alpha it's multimedia -centric. gaming and camera Cam ca so. yeah, i think camera experience is the biggest point of what they do um and i know you <laughs> you had a chance to spend a little bit more time with the xperia yeah. pro recently on the video maker which mm -hmm. is still showing all the versatilities um I'm still kind of on the fence a little bit about trying to see if I could pick up the One Mark Three, or um, I'll see how the Pixel Six Pro does because the One Mark Two, honestly, yeah. still is a very capable um, Xperia uh, smartphone. Like well, I mean, and, realistically, and for us here, and especially as I'm looking at end of the year budget, like I'm putting money aside for Steam Deck, I'm going to be paying for the Duo Two. I'm going to be one of the only people paying for the Duo Two at launch. Um, the uh, the the things I'm trying to focus on. I can crib a lot of an Xperia versus Pixel mm -hmm. camera showdown yeah. with an Xperia 2. The the changes to like the main camera sensor and the ultra wide are I mean there are there there are improvements. They're, 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 yeah. But the core photography experience there is so close, I might as well put my review budget towards something else that we just got to do in Steam. Yeah, sense. no no, so. for sure. Um so definitely next week's going to be pretty crazy. Um, I have no no even inclination of what's going to be coming up next to next Wednesday or um, the the twentieth um, with Samsung's event. Maybe it is an FE or something like that. But it may be also just their tablets. Um, if it's an FE, couldn't care less. Literally, this the it, Galaxy S twenty is already an FE. I mean, at this point, what what are you going to do? You're going to make the cameras worse. 
and <laughs> save a couple bucks. Like literally, that's the only thing you can cut out they'll, of a they'll Galaxy give, S21. They'll, they'll, give, they'll give us the S10 cameras on a, an S21, somewhat similar body, and call it well, the, that's the fan edition. What 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 they? I mean, literally, what they could do is go to the to the lower quality ultra wide. There's mm -hmm. a, there's a smaller sensor that they have used in the past for ultra wide, and then just go to like a two times zoom camera sensor instead of the really nice. Because the one thing the S21 has going for it is that pixel cropping telephoto is pretty oh, yeah. good. Well, the, the ultra, is good. I, I, think, I think the Ultra is the only one that has the decent cameras out of the, the S21 no, no. Plus and the, I, there, the there are some situations where I do like, especially in the medium zoom range, I mm -hmm. do kind of like the S21 telephoto over the Ultras. Um, okay. But again, the ultras have way more reach, so your image fidelity extends beyond. But in that kind of medium zone, like where I would be to get video or a photo of my daughter playing soccer, okay. like it's close. You know, an S twenty one telephoto versus an ultra telephoto is 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 not a runaway victory for the ultra. But if you wanted to do an FE, you could keep the main sensor. That mm -hmm. um, one over one point seven inch sensor is is pretty commonplace now go to the lower resolution ultra wide and then cut the pixel cropping telephoto down to just a regular tiny three times zoom or two times zoom telephoto like something a little more one plusy mm -hmm. and then charge like 50 bucks less but i just don't see any value in that the s21 is already a compromised plastic backed lower cost device an fe phone interests me not at all. But if they come out with some new tablets, I could be pretty stoked about that. Samsung's tablet game is still the only premium tier Android tablet game aside I, I, from like a duo. Exactly. That could be kind of cool. Having Dex on, on a tablet realistically is the, one of the better options, especially with the the, the fact that it, they're literally the only ones working at it because there's no other... I mean, Google gave up on it, but I, I'm with you. I think it's more than likely tablets, uh, but regardless, it seems like Samsung and Apple did not want to give Google its day in the sun. Um, it's just weird. So selfish. I mean, like, seriously, like, you couldn't have just planned it a week later. Like, why? <laughs> Gabaletta. Seriously. They're going to go from a plastic back to a paperback. <laughs> It'll be paperback. <laughs> It'll be paperback because, you know, it's a fan edition. You like your paper, right? <laughs> um, oh, Andrew's in the chat. Hey, man, hope you're doing well. Um, so th th that's the exciting part next week. Honestly, for me, all I have eyes for is Pixel next week. Um, yeah, that's Pixel. where my driving force is. Um, I do I do want to say that the fact that we got a chance to play a little bit with the Infinix this week was a, mm -hmm. was a little bit refreshing to kind of see something different. Um, now it's a phone that wasn't designed essentially designed for the US. It's intended for, I think, uh Middle East, uh different regions in the world. I think the overall Infinix uh, story. I need to dig a little deeper. Like I want to go tech alter on mm -hmm. Infinix, you know, like really dig into apparently they are a subsidiary of the same multinational that also makes like the the low cost Wi-Fi routers for cable carriers. Like they're, they're a subsidiary of the same kind of umbrella corporation, but that they've been building up significantly, like you were saying, mm -hmm. Northern Africa, Mediterranean, Middle East, yeah. and in a Because I, I looked at this, like when you're setting up Europe, the application, it, when you're setting crazy. it up, you can see the where it's intended. It doesn't have, you, you, it yeah. doesn't even on the when list. We set up, when, we, uh, yeah. when we set up an Infinix, we are other. Oh, I, we're not I, one I, of their I scrolled, regions. scrolled, I'm like, okay, US, UK, nope, not even UK, nothing. And so I was like, I was just like, okay, other. Um, not even like US Virgin Isle not even, no, no, regions, no, no, no. nothing. And, and then for me, honestly, which was the weird part is, so I couldn't get it to work on T-Mobile, but it surprisingly worked on AT&T. That's like cool. I, I, Yeah, I was actually, it always surprises me. Like most of the imported phones that I've actually gotten in the past, absolutely there look at that back look at that shim like the, seriously the material on the back is very nice this um awesome. almost as impressive as what i saw on the pro x that i uh that i still have to put out a video on um which, like which has that little starlight out uh one plus sandstone made <laughs> super glossy super super so you glossy. got a great texture and and like i can rub this here let me just like because i'm a little sweaty let me just kind of do this and like no, no, no smudges changing. Look at that. That's no fingerprints. No, 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 no finger or touchy. No finger or touchy. Um, <laughs> you know what it reminds the... me a little? Again, it's like a smoothed out version of uh, the Huawei P10. Oh, you're going. Okay. So I, you know, I don't that, have like the P10. Metal, 
Yeah, the Hold P20 on, I is I when I started one. jumping. I'm okay. going to keep talking, but you're not going to see me on camera. I think I've got it, one over here. So That's how we do it. Uh, Juan leaves. We're leaves, doing it live. La, this yeah. is awesome podcasting right now. And and just just for your reference, uh, <laughs> the NVIDIA camera app is Tried seriously to follow me. It wigged out, though. It, it It's going somewhere. All right. So I found I found I, I think that's pretty quick considering the number of phones I've got in that. So I mean like this is this is P10. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. And I can even do it right here in front of the mic. A little bit of an ASMR show. This is how we do it. Cameras yeah. freaking out. Yeah, I love it. I saw that. And <laughs> exactly. then and then you've got like the nice sort of grainy texture, but it's it's nice and smooth. It doesn't it doesn't have the roughness of sandstone, but it's 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 easier to grip. It's nicer to hold on to. And it, and it plays with light kind of like Huawei was, where you don't get, you get lots of shimmer and shine, but you don't get any fingerprint smudges or anything gross like that. This is beautiful I, work. And the fact that I this love, is such a cheap phone is awesome. Oh, no, no, I, absolutely. I think it's like for about, what's it, 250 or something like that? It's, I mean, it's conserv considerably, uh, it, it's well outfitted for the for the price that it's going for. It's running the G96. It's not running, obviously, some of the MediaTek. I was, I'm still wondering at some point when will MediaTek stop supporting the G series? Like they will jump over to just Dimensity, like 700, 800. Because yeah. I felt like this, they would have done. It would have been similar of an similar of an experience if they went with the 700, the 800. Those are generally close to what we get with the G96. Um, decent amount of RAM. Uh, the UI elements actually were pretty decently smooth. I was surprised. It didn't it didn't stutter for me overall as far as performance. Uh, and then cameras are actually pretty decent uh, with the experience that we get here. A headphone jack? Come on, like who does that? Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, it was a very surprise, very nice surprise. I uh, I didn't push out my video in time. I was having some problems with software updates, uh, but I'm yeah, hopefully going to be getting, yeah, uh, I hopefully be able to get that video coming out maybe, probably, probably next week, probably early next week, like before Pixel, probably I want to put that out. Um, because it was just, it's something that I didn't get a chance to play with, but I did get a chance to play with the Realme GT Neo 2 5G. Uh, it's like, That's a lot. It, it's That's a, a lot long title. And, 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 and seriously, I feel like uh, some people may say Realme has <clears> been pushing out too many Realme GT phones this year. But that green color, so I got, they sent me the green one. I didn't even know it was coming. It showed up. I didn't get any letters, any information when the announcement, when the launch date was. I woke up this morning and it was like, oh, so today's the launch date. <laughs> so right. I was like, what do I do? So I put out another short. Um, I'll have to say this. I, I'm actually kind of enjoying putting, making shorts, like these quick, um, mm -hmm. you know, 60 seconds, 50 seconds, whatever, just main highlights of the phone it's obviously not a review it's not a deep dive it's not my style of videos that i typically do um but i wanted to put out something on the day of i didn't want it to kind of wait a week to be able to kind of put out my content for it for so sure. very excited uh both the realme gt neo 2 and the infinix are considered to be slightly more of budget uh centric and the gt neo is also intended mostly for india so it's not it's not something that we would be seeing here well, but this, uh, this is what i think is so critical and it's one of the things that's i i feel it's kind of helping me keep some perspective on the absolutely stunningly ridiculous conversation that we have about phones here in north america right now someone is going to buy this infinix note 11 and to them this is going to be a a significant if potentially painful um purchase like this is this is like you know how we would agonize over buying like uh, you know a, a laptop for work or a desktop something that that is going to be a, a significant we're going to feel it in our budget someone mm -hmm. is going to pick this phone up and it is very likely that that individual this is probably going to be one of their primary computing devices yeah. like if, if not the first gadget that they reach for maybe the only computing device they have access to okay and when you kind of view that view this phone through the prism of someone who is accomplishing a significant majority of their computing needs mm -hmm. from a device that here in the united states we would probably mock or scoff at for being underpowered and it's a cheap phone for poor people on mvnos mm -hmm. It, it really kind of helps better bracket where these devices fit, who they're for, making the appropriate purchase. 
And then it kind of empowers us to also talk about, like, this is plenty of compute power for many of my relatives. Like, what oh, this absolutely. phone is capable of exactly. is overkill still for people that are then going to, like, go off and buy the most expensive iPhones because they need the most expensive phones to show off. But genuinely, this is their speed for really getting work done. Well, and, Again, and, and the large I, I feel it just kind of broadens our horizons a little. No, no, exactly. It's, it's a large display, nice refresh rate on it, um, decent battery size, as well as very, you know, decent speed on charging it. I think the combination really, it's it's a very well-tailored experience for a decent price, 250. And it still, in my opinion, actually performs better than what the price point is really indicated, indicating of what you would think of. Um, my hope essentially at some point is that we will get more information as far as how much support they're going to be. Um, that was I wouldn't only... imagine a lot though. I, I, I mean, that's like, the, I let's think... be totally fair is I, I really feel like when we're making the hardware argument, mm -hmm. 120 Hertz display, the Ram, the storage, the headphone jack, the ability to, um, to pop in a memory card, multiple camera array. Mm -hmm. This is oh, 5,000 milliamp hour battery. So I mean, said, like, it, Again, it, I, which is, by the way, I think the standard should be 5000 from now on. There's really no reason if price, budget devices that are this price are are popping up, like the Realme GT Neo 2, 5000 mm -hmm. GT was 5000 <laughs> It's okay. I, I know. I'm not exactly very exciting, but that's not the point right now. Um, what, we, what I want to make sure... Um, <laughs> I, I, I hear you, man. I know. I know you. But 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 what I'm talking about, though, is like all of that is roughly depending on region somewhere in the three hundred dollar price tier mm -hmm. and sacrificing 5G. It's still which, pretty which, difficult but, getting down to this price tier with this hardware outlay and knowing that this company is is still trying to work some kind of profit margin. I think one of the things that is likely going to be lesser than for all of this hardware is is some idea or some notion of longer term software support and i feel as long as consumers are kind of primed for this is the reality of this product the same conversations i used to have about lg mm -hmm. i bought lg because i'm a hardware guy and yeah. they genuinely built hardware features that i i i began i i depended on to mm -hmm. get my work done, I was fine taking a compromise on some of the, the software niceties of updates and stuff like that. So I feel like this could end up being a similar conversation. I would expect a year of, yeah. of like solid, so, solid know, yeah. attention. It, exactly. And then if there you get one... some security patches after that, then yeah. you're probably doing better than most people shopping these kinds of devices right now. No, no, definitely. Uh, and there is one update that I think we both are going to try to get updated on our devices. I find we finally got got some input back into how we're going to be able to do it, um, uh, just to get the software kind of running. But I think overall, um, I like what they're doing. I, I appreciate what they're offering, and I'm glad that they're pushing it out. I was impressed with the Note 10 when it when it came out last mm -hmm. uh, earlier. I think it was like earlier this year. Note right? 10 was solid. Yeah, uh, and and I think the uh, the X Pro, the Pro X, I think I keep wanting to say that there's just I didn't get the, to play with that one. I, I was kind of curious, but now I, I'm playing with the Note 11, I feel like it, I think it's I'm good. It, yeah. No, you are. You, you're you, absolutely. I was going to say uh, camera stack is a little bit different. It's uh, that ones were more focused into um, shooting the moon kind of a thing, as opposed to uh, you know real life kind of. I feel like the 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 Note 11 definitely feels a little bit better solid wise. Uh, but construction honesty and experience is very close. Uh, it's yeah. hard to distinguish the two in the general UI element because they run the same processor, same RAM, same storage. It's almost literally like a copy, but um, different emphasis on the camera stack, which is a little bit different. But uh, and, and also, I appreciate, and this is one of the things that I think is really cool when we start talking about Nord, some of the new motos that are coming out. Mm -hmm. We've still got some healthy competition where... You know, like I, I kind of feel like one of the things I'm disappointed in is we're not going to get another stylo. I, I know the stylo yeah. has been the butt of so many jokes for it being like the cheap underpowered phone that LG would make that had a stylus. But when you find someone who who owns and uses a stylo, they are die hard yeah. on that phone. They are ride or die with that phone. And, and a lot of what makes the Note 11, this Infinix, kind of interesting is it's a, it's kind of a similar idea of 
The stylo is really the phone that you try to get for free on a carrier for signing up and it's functional and it's got a big screen and it's great for consuming content. It's mm -hmm. great for web browsing. It's never going to be the powerhouse like content creator device. But I mean, again, I joke because I don't know if you if you know Eric very well from Easy Computer Solutions, but he went and paid like full MSRP. You know, he spent almost four hundred dollars on a stylo and everybody knows that's wrong. <laughs> like that's, you never would pay full MSRP for full a MSRP stylo. on a stylo. Yeah, I bought the stylo, had it shipped um, with taxes and shipping. I think it was one hundred and forty dollars. And you can't tell me, you know, that there are great new solutions for phones at one hundred and forty dollars that that totally beat you know, the stylo. Uh, the I don't, stylo I don't think there's many that, so. that beat the stylo, but I would probably say that we are still to this day still getting flip phones. Yeah. TCL, I mean, not TCL, Alcatel is still making uh, flip phones. Yeah. Uh, the, Was that 100 uh, bucks? 99 on T-Mobile. Yeah. Uh, it's, so, this is the T-Mobile. So $100. Hand, though, right? yeah. yeah. That, that's $100. And Running a stylo iOS. Yeah. is uh, like, it, it, it was pathetically easy for me to shop. I think I got it on like a 4th of July day sale okay. and it was $140 shipped with taxes. So 99, so you add taxes and that becomes mm -hmm. $110 phone. 110 here bucks. In Southern California. Uh, and um, so seriously. So for 30 more dollars, you could be rocking a massive screened three day battery mm -hmm. life. Exactly. Silo 6. I, I was just going to say, but to say, look, even this guy has a headphone jack. <laughs> even <laughs> even oh, this phone. And, and I, I, I would be willing to put what like three mortgage payments on the Stylo Six having a demonstrably better headphone jack than what's on that phone. No, absolutely. But I was just gonna say, like, look at this. Hey, have you heard of these things where you can remove the back, <gasps> like these weird things? And then, lo and behold, they they make these things that you could just take out. <laughs> it's like what now uh, be careful yeah. according to valve if you touch the battery on the inside of a gadget you will die you will die no that, exactly i love did you see um, the steam deck tear down did you watch no that? I, I no i did not i i saw the demos i honestly okay i've, I've i'm waiting for you around to get this it. i'm gonna put you on 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 blast i'm gonna okay. put you on the spot on camera what what are your thoughts on like a handheld PC gaming setup, like Switch style. Are, are, are you so, in on Steam Deck? Are you, are you looking for, are, are you going to grab one? Are you are you looking forward I'll, to I'll say this. I'm a little bit skeptical on what Steam Deck is promising. The reason behind this, I've, I've so I've played with mini PCs. I actually have a, a couple of mini uh, from Chewy. I don't know if you're familiar with their brand. Mm -hmm. So they are, they're mini, they're mini small, uh, small portable lap, uh, PCs and a laptop shell and they play them. Um, I'm very into the Switch. I've had the, the first generation Switch. I was literally this close in buying the Switch OLED, not because I wanted to get an OLED, but because of the fact that I can never get my Switch. My son just plays with it all the time. I just, it's like I lost my Switch. So it was an excuse. You want to rub it in too? Like, here's your garbage LCD Switch, kid. <laughs> I, and then I'm, you I'm go just off happy. And rock I'm, your I'm, OLED. I'm glad that he's just not at that level yet. Um, <laughs> Cause if he start, I mean, I, I, I realize that these type of conversations are going to go. <laughs> Um, yes, as far as what Steam is offering, I, that definitely for me um, is a solution for me for portable gaming because those are things, I mean, running the entire library of games that I have on Steam that I already have in here, and I buy a lot of games through them. Um, yeah. So I want to be able to get that solution. The problem that I saw with this is at the time of ordering and pre-ordering, the entry level was, I felt like was not the right con configuration. I feel like I don't think they should have done it in that way. Uh, they should have gone SSD at the lower entry level, maybe smaller solution. Um, and then the wait time was just too long. So I, at some point, yes, I will be picking one up because I do want to have that solution with me whenever I'm traveling, when I'm going with the yeah. family, to have that portable solution. I don't, don't get me wrong. I bring my laptop generally to play to to work, but that solution well, I'm already the, the car, guy who does not take my gaming laptop Oh wait, no! And this is not even anymore. a gaming. Yeah, yeah. I, I, no, but that's what I mean. Is like the last. You the don't... last reason I traveled with a gaming laptop was literally to play um, Cuphead with my sister and her husband. Mm -hmm. And when I mean that was when Cuphead was a brand new game. So no, what, and, like and I don't think you should. Now? No, uh, 
Oh, wow. It's been that long. It's yeah. Cuphead, like three or four years ago now. So that's literally the last time I traveled with a gaming laptop and mm -hmm. actually used it for what the gaming laptop was designed to do. So the, the whole idea for me is like, here's my phone, here's my Steam Deck, and I'm good. And, and and I think that's what you should. You should be comfortable in that solution to be able to do that type of an experience. So for me, I have, um, you know, Dragon Ball Xenoverse in my Steam, uh, Steam collection. Doom is in there. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I don't think Flight Simulator will run, but I mean, I have it in there as well. Uh, the, sure. the collection is, th those are the games I, I love playing and I love also giving my access to my son. So having something like that as a solution where it's playing higher end games as opposed to just mobile games, you know, desktop class games, that's mm -hmm. always been my solution, but I haven't seen it truly function so this is the thing with all the demos and everything that we've seen um there's still some things that i'm waiting to see actual like actual usability like when you get yours because i know yeah. it, at the time the last time when we spoke of it um pre-orders were already way beyond like i made a massive mistake yeah. of not jumping in the moment those pre-orders were open and when it, i tried it, to and i still don't think mine will be here in 2021 unless a bunch of people decide not to to, to jump ship at the uh, uh yeah. It, yeah it's it's one of those and, and I'm sure a whole bunch of people are going to resell them. I mean, it's not like it's going to be impossible to get without, but the pricing is going to be through the roof. I'm actually all for it. And I'm waiting for, I'm, I'm, my hope essentially is that once they go through the initial wave and they start producing uh, more, we'll start seeing them also, uh, you know, the, the mm -hmm. timeline becomes a little bit better. I think we just need to get production started. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. Um, that was one of the things I wanted to get. I think about 500 bucks. It can't go too long. I think it was like 600 for the the entry level SSD. Top of the SSD. line was like, top was of like, the line was was like 630? Yeah, like which that. is which I think is the right solution, especially if you want to download some of the. I mean, keep in mind, most of these games literally eat up uh, like hundreds of gigs. Not like I mean, seriously, like this. This is one of those biggest things. Right. Uh, I'm but also TK, hoping I need like yet another platform that I can play Dead Cells on. <laughs> That's like a That's 200 meg game. Uh, it's, it's a, yeah, but we can install dead cells a thousand times and then we'll play the game. we'll play a thousand simultaneous it's like but um, what what will what will i host all of my mobile jackbox party games on it restarted by itself okay oh that's right wow. i put the battery uh, no 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 i put the yeah you took the battery yeah, I, took the battery. I, I was like that's, what that's what happens tk i know you, apparently when companies make that warning about not trying to take the battery out the, of yeah, your phones TK anymore should listen um but this is running kai os i um <laughs> And it now has Google Maps, and mm. uh, I want to say, the, does it, did I say, did I see the Google Play Store? Hold on a second. No, uh, Google Search, Google Maps. We we used to have the assistant. I don't know if the assistant is still here. Would be interesting. Uh, but actually, the reason why I was trying to show this thing is, um, this more than likely will end up being my son's first phone. This I mm. we made the decision. My wife and I talked about it. That's um, great. And I think and I think it's time. You know, he's almost twelve. Um, all of his friends has phones and they always want to chat. They want to talk to each other. And although I don't feel comfortable giving him a full fledged smartphone yet, um, I want to see how he handles this. And, uh, we let him know early today. He was very happy. So I just, I told him, I said, I need to review it first <laughs> before. Now, can I tell you, I, I yeah. had an old, it was before they were doing Kai OS. Um, mm -hmm. I, I had an old go flip. Alcatel flip. Yeah, that um, I, I gave to Lex. I pulled the battery out of it. I gave it to Lex just to play with as like mm -hmm. her prop phone. And the the joke convert not not the joke. The imaginary conversations that she comes up with after listening to Marie are hilarious. Like no, 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 no. That's not what I said. That's not what I need on the report. And she like oh putting God. this language together. So she took it to the park, and like. I've never seen so many like four to seven year olds swarm a piece of technology before. Yeah. That like it's a phone and they were like opening and it and toy. closing and it's not it. A yeah, it's not a and, toy. And like pushing the buttons on it. It was like watching like a little a little pack of chimpanzees like try and figure out something shiny. <laughs> but it was a bunch of little kids like this was a completely alien version of technology. It's like you make calls from this? You could talk to your mom with it? What? And yeah, then no, what was uh, hilarious is like one of them was like, well, what happens when I pour sand in it? You know, like immediately uh, kids start destroying things. Yeah. The hinge survived great. Oh, yeah, no, no. I, uh, this, I, little brushes popped out like a couple little grains of sand. There's no grinding sound. It's 
it, it is so much more durable than like my you know, wife... like my duo would have died. Like oh, it would yeah, have been no, destroyed. My 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 fold would have been uh, sandwich uh, sandwich bread basically at that point, just like cringe and all of that. Um, speaking of which, actually, um, the uh, coach coach's duo uh, sorry coach's uh, Z Fold three is uh, Samsung's fighting back on trying to fix this uh, Z Fold three that somewhat uh, went combusted. You know. I don't know yeah. if you saw that one on that. That was a, that was an interesting show. And so he was like packing it up to sell it, and then it like ignited. The right? day, the day it was, yeah, and then it was like, nope, we're gonna go, we're gonna go yeah. smoke a little bit. But um, the reason why I wanted to mention that is uh, my wife was actually very surprised that they still made these. She's like, they yeah. still make the. I'm like, yeah, this is brand new. It just came out, um, and it's on T-Mobile. I have the first the first gen KaiOS phone over there somewhere. I yeah, the fl last year's Flip Three, I think, was the the first gen. This is the flip four. Um, I, I like the improvements a little bit thicker on the uh, overall, but again, like I said, uh, Omar saw it and he was very happy. So I'm, I'm really happy that we we're able. You know to what? I'll be kind of interested, and 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 again, like not to tell you, you should pimp your son out for tech videos and stuff, but <laughs> I wonder how many services he's really going to care about. Right? Yeah. We keep talking about average consumers and tech videos and stuff, and I think there is. I, I think there's something there. I think there's this idea of like an ultra simplified, but still smart ish kind of portable gadget. And so, especially for someone younger mm -hmm. who is building like relationships in a social circle and is kind of coming into his own is, you know, in terms of identity and stuff, mm -hmm. I think there's this, there could be something really interesting about just kind of not, not like making it a homework assignment that he's got to write a report on it, but just as you ask him questions about it, like, what would he really be missing? I'm sure you know he has access to things to play games on, so he's not going to be too upset about this. Oh, not I, being yeah, a great I built I built a PC for him, and he has yeah. the switch. Oh, yeah. oh, I know. And we just <laughs> talked about him, you know, like uh, stealing your switch all the time. So oh, again, yeah, gaming, gaming. He got yeah, we got gaming locked on, on lock. I didn't, I think it's more his first question that came up to me when I told him about the phone. He said, "How's the camera?" and um because uh, he uh, so uh, so here's the thing omar has he has a, he has a very good eye mm -hmm. and it's truly like a few times whenever i do my video reviews and stuff like that seriously i just hand them the phone i'm just like dude just go have That's at good. it it's a beautiful scenery we're up and walking in the park whatever have fun take pictures do whatever you want and seriously a lot of them have like he has a very like he's very good at comp uh, composing shots and he's also good at recognizing the shot not you know what i mean like when you're walking you're like wait that looks like a good so he comes up to me and he'll say things so i was honest with him i said look i don't think this is a good camera in the, in the way you're thinking of a camera the way you're you're used to using with some of my other devices I told him it's a good enough camera to what you can you want to take pictures you can uh, it's going to be better than what it was last year um and it's going to have text messages. You could talk to your friends. And I, like I said, there's still some things I want to play with. I don't even have my SIM in it yet. Uh, but I feel like as an entry level for the first level experience smartphone, I think it's going to meet his expectation of what he needs. Like you said, it's because he's leveraging other things otherwise. Uh, otherwise. Uh, if he wanted to play games on it, like Fortnite or whatever, there is a system. We already have the, the ROG Phone 2 for that. Um, right. So I think this is more about... You know, uh, I want to make sure that if you know he wants to call me, he can call me whenever he whenever he'd like. Right. If I'm at the office, whatever he wants to call mom, emergencies, whatever. Uh, so this is literally it's it's the next step, and I, we feel like you know he's going to be 12 in a few months. Um, it's it's the right level, and like I said, literally all of his other friends, 11, are like, hey, what's your number? Let me send you. Let me text you. Let, let's chat. Right. So yeah, it's, I'd I'd, I'd just steps. be curious, you know, like. If his social circles decide that some type of messaging service is the right, I, I and I'm hope yeah uh, like, I'm my, so my only thing which I haven't told him yet is he needs to learn how to use T9 because this is about the only thing he has to do that he probably well, can it I thought I thought it could do speech to text I can we do speech to text on this one hold on let me jump I on thought Kai OS was supporting that but I could have just made that up. Uh, you know what? Let, let's see. So here, not two. Let's jump. Then only Google page. Assistant will actually show a readout, like when you do a voice query. Uh, yeah, no, no, absolutely. But I don't think it doesn't show. Oh, hold on. Let me see here. Uh, I, I, like we're I said, doing it's it been, live. we're doing you, it live. While you're figuring that out, I just want to point out this comment from Smurfweed. 
Uh, my nephew is 12. He has a budget smartphone where him and his friends play and build games in Roblox. Uh, pretty impressed with his designs. I mean, that's that's kind of, I feel like, it, it's such a critical component, you know, what, what kids are going to be utilizing to build their social circles is fundamentally different than anything I ever had to experience. So I'm just trying to keep a, 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 a somewhat open mind. I know a lot of social media gets a bad rap, but gaming, I feel, is one of those activities where with just a little bit of instruction and just a little bit of supervision, um, it can right. become a phenomenally uh, beneficial tool for helping kids kind of develop their own social structures. So here's a, the, the surprising part about it. I, I don't see Google Assistant. Mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't see the assistant. Hold on, let me see if this picture kind of looks good. Um, I see the the I see Google search and that opens up a browser and I also see Google Maps, but uh no assistant. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to pull out my I'm, old Kai OS phone because I if I the, just made that up, I'd be kind no, of no, no, no. the flip three has like... the flip three does have um the Google well, Assistant. I just thought that it was, was a good accessibility feature mm -hmm. was yeah. having it served a lot of speech to text. It does have voice search in Google Maps. That's interesting. Let me see here. Uh, that is the assistant. Okay. Yeah. So the Google Assistant, uh, that doesn't look <laughs> like, look, uh, the Google Assistant does show up inside of Google Maps. So maybe it's just, it, it may just be the setup. I haven't, like I said, I, I opened up the box. I didn't get a chance to, other than literally install a, an OTA that just came through to it. Um, I haven't had a chance to play with it, but um, it's been something that I've been wanting to check out. So I reached out and it was, I'm definitely very happy to see um, what they, what they can do, what they've done with, uh, sure. you know, this iteration of the flip four. Well, and, and, and like to Aditya's point too, where he's kind of concerned getting his little brother, a smartphone. I, I, I feel like these are, are overlooked, but solid mm -hmm. solutions to help usher a new user into a 21st century telecommunications environment. Oh, absolutely. Like I look I, at my daughter and she is. She is brilliant for an almost six year old. Like she's doing advanced, you know, pre algebra, like for fun. And I haven't told her that that's weird yet. And I'm probably never gonna. No, but I think she's I, also yeah. emotionally young for her age, you know? So she, she has issues in school where she is articulate and able to demonstrate a very high degree of capability in terms of uh, academic achievements. Mm -hmm. But then she's also one of the youngest emotionally in her class. And so I know, especially as she starts getting older and her peers start getting smart devices, she's gonna have to be at the tail end of those trends. Like I don't, she'll have to be introed to those experiences very carefully because I feel like she'll get herself into trouble because she's so clever, mm -hmm. her reach will exceed her grasp. You know what I mean? No, her, like, her curiosity. She'll figure out yeah. things yeah, yeah. that will get her into bigger trouble way faster than I think she'll be able to anticipate. For, for me, I, I don't foresee him being on a on a flip phone for too long, but I think, like I said, it's more about... It just yeah, uh, it get, just to get him started. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Get, getting it's into not like that we don't have you know, like old phones. To... No, no, like I said, it wasn't a choice of not, it's not that I didn't have a right phone to give him. It was more about um, what I felt was like the right entry level um, with the yeah. understanding that again, he still has access to some of the other things. Uh, so and, I still and set up a line for him. And the thing I love about this is literally just the ability to show that he's going to take care of it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like and, and, it's and, a little different when daddy takes the device back Yeah, and and you know he you know, he's not responsible for charging all of the gadgets and carrying if he doesn't charge it there's no power the in the morning and... it doesn't have any yeah exactly all of that responsibility part it it is my thing about what this and this should also have a pretty decent battery life because again if the, if you don't open it uh the external display is very nice it's a tiny display just enough of a ticker with the time on it yeah um but yeah so this definitely very very happy with that um I think there's been, oh, and then I finally, <laughs> not that I'm trying to show off a lot of stuff. I finally joined the club of the S600 hey, I, and I don't know. Do I still know. have mine over here? Uh, yeah, here, okay, see here it is. It's, if I could, I could close. oh yeah, here you are. The S600, uh, uh, they came in the same package, which I'm very happy. Um, I didn't get a chance to play with them when you got, uh, when everybody was getting the, uh, I think the units. I think you used them a few times also went. on. It's buds, man. That's, that's, that's the life. Too, too many earbuds. They're just all over the place. 
one of these days you're going to come here and you're going to be like, TK, you have too many buds on your table. I have way too many. And I, um, yeah, it's one do of those we, experiences. Do we want to play the what we have in reach game? Because I think I might have you beat. I don't know, man. Uh, all, all right, I can say we're playing the I game. Have, I have two more, two more pairs of buds that I haven't touched. Oh, oh we're doing this, oh, DK. Oh, when we're you said in reach, live. you meant okay. So you're saying behind you? That's that's a very different reach, my friend. Okay, I okay, could wait. reach them. Do I? Do you want me to go to the drawer? No, 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 no. <laughs> we're not doing drawer. We are. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it all clean. Right, here, we, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So hold on a second. Hold on. You're gonna do this game. We'll do it here. Now, are we only on. doing true wireless, or are we doing like all the headphones? Well, yeah. Let's keep true wireless. I mean, why, why do we want to? Okay. You know, mess. The, the how, how about this? We'll do. We'll do Bluetooth. <laughs> okay. I'm still right, uh, so, I'm so still what, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? I'm not done. I am not. Oh no, actually, you know what? I am done. Dang it. Okay, I thought I had more. Okay. I, yes. I feel like that's not gonna bode well for you. So first off, okay. um I, I I would like to start with my Bluetooth enabled glasses that have uh, audio built into them. Oh my god. Okay, where are my razors? And now and now uh what would you like to raise me, TK? Okay, my friend. Um I will go uh first of all, obviously the buds A. Then we're gonna okay. go with the Infinix buds, the Infinix that buds that also work as a small two thousand milliampere power bank. Mm -hmm. The um Amazfit That's Buds two. Pro. Three. Of course, uh, the master, uh, sorry, the um, sound uh, the Snapdragon sound buds. These are the master cool. dynamic one. Uh, they're, yeah. yeah. That's good. That's good. Uh, four, then four we're going to go Samsung Buds Pro, OnePlus Buds Pro. Six. The Pro is going to be coming up a lot, by the way. Um, <laughs> and then, of course, uh, the P3, the, the light, the Soundcore yeah, P3s. The sound core <laughs> pro liberty three pros <laughs> you gotta you gotta keep them up there and i know i have my buds uh my yeah, where i can find it okay i know i had oh here it is sorry uh, yeah, yeah. huawei uh i want to say the free buds three the liberty t three uh, two pros i'm not done you're going to the drawer. I'm going to go to my It's drawer. right behind me. This is my desk. My I drawer's didn't... right there. It's on the side of my table. My Sony's. <laughs> <laughs> my first generation buds, pixel buds. <laughs> I mean, come on. Um, you know what? And, I, and I'll stop with the last one is the original buds. I still have my honor buds. Um, I also have, uh, oh, and then there's the real me buds, which I have all over the place. All right, so so I reached way less further than what you had to do. To you reached around. behind you, which is why I went down to the. Oh, so gosh. so this is this is the drawer. If you're gonna okay, go drawer, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just... gonna go drawer. Okay, okay, okay. I <laughs> I still have more. By the way, I have more that are in boxes, but I didn't. <laughs> oh, for the love of Jesus Christ! Okay. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. And I also have uh, my Q35s from uh, Soundcore, but they are over the year. Uh, wireless all right so sitting uh, on on the desk of course i also have my theo so my btr yeah that's that's mandatory i've got my glasses um we've got the ear fun air 2 we've got the Soundcore liberty pro because i don't have the the threes we so have the liberty both two pros. generations of uh one more's um, color buds. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, yeah. So I, I, that's what yeah, I'm wearing okay. right now. <laughs> that's close to say. I also have my hearables. These are the, uh, these are the all of union. So, so you got yeah, those. The, I remember that you just did that one. one more A and C's. So we got that. Got the pixel buds A. The, you know, always got to have those kind of within arm's reach. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, my bone conduction solutions are over on the desk. So that's not within arm's reach. That's not reachable. Okay. But I also have the Vivo Buds, which I'll be wrapping up a review on soon. Mm -hmm. We've got the Edifiers. So these are uh, the, 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 the big fancy Buds Pro. And then I've got the whole drawer. So do you want to see every generation of LG Tone neckbands that's ever been come out? I was going to say, I, 
I have, I have, I, I thought it was in within arm's reach, uh, my neck band, my, my only LG neck band that I have. Uh, but yes, no, uh, <laughs> Yes, this show has gone down in uh, in the uh, the production values. Just want to let you <laughs> hashtag not sponsored by LG. Oh, I do have some bone conduction in here. So these are my one more neck bands, and these are my other one more neck bands. The question I is, still have so many my bands. absolute very very first pair of Plantronics. And oh my god! Do you remember still Plantronic? Get better better battery life then I, so I, I have those in my in my in my backpack uh my work backpack that i you know back in the day when i used to go to the office um and the battery on those are is like totally depleted but yes i was one of my favorite running uh buds uh they're wired but they definitely they had that the wings on the back which made them fit perfectly in your ears and yeah okay some some it, it was a mistake to try to do a competition with some gadget guy or some audio guy I, I get it. <laughs> I can do like super bone conduction. So what other like, so I've got some other ear funds. I do have some of the Huawei. I have never really liked the open ear. I know. And, and, and uh, it, to me, it's more um, I like I and I, so I, I, I'm now in the, in the habit of I, I've been getting more and more uh, like emails and stuff like that sent out. It's like, hey, we have new buds. They sound great and all of that, but they're open backs. And I was like, I just don't like the solution anymore. Uh, yeah. it, you, I mean, if you're going to go wireless, you need to have some of that out noise isolation with the buds. Otherwise, you're really sacrificing audio quality and you're just making me bump up the volume for no reason. So, um, but I will say of all of the ones that I have on my table right now, my two favorite ones, the three pros, the Liberty three pros, and the uh, uh, Snapdragon sound ones. Those, by far, the only ones, I mean, if I have to listen to anything right now are those. And then my OnePlus, uh, the OnePlus Buds, surprisingly, my favorite on-call uh, for like long phone conversations, those are my Buds. And I'll be honest with you, I lost one. <laughs> that's no good. It, well, but that's why I said they were great for phone calls. I only need one earpiece for my, for my phone calls. It sits in my right ear and I'm good. <laughs> Fine, right, I'm still going. So. Ah, crap. Okay, I'll be back, guys, in about 20 minutes. Yeah, okay. You got some, some Comfo Buds. These also kind of weren't really my jam, but I did like just how teeny this little case was. So that was kind of Actually, fun. so speaking of uh, gen, size and everything. Uh, true Wireless from One More. Mm -hmm. These were really solid. The, the size of the casing for me on any pair of True Wireless Buds that sits in my pocket uh, is always a critical thing. Like, yeah, something like that. It has to be small enough to fit in the pocket of my jeans, the little tiny pocket on my right side. If mm -hmm. it doesn't fit there, I feel like that either it's just not the right solution for me because it just doesn't, it ends up basically being in my pocket with my keys or yeah. in this other pocket next to the phone. So for me, everything that I've shown you today with the exception of the 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 Huawei ones, and again, these are a little bit older ones. Uh, they have I have a hard time putting these in the pockets because it's a little bit wider. Uh, and of course, Sony's, uh, although the new casing is definitely much better on the XM4s, uh, which, mm -hmm. I, yeah, there's there's a lot more. There's a, Don't get me wrong. I, you definitely win on the neck bands, which, by the way, look great on you. It, ex <laughs> it brings out the color in your eyes, my friend. Oh, uh, I'm sure. It's a, it's a very oh, bold look. It is a very bold although, look. Although, you know what I yeah. got to say? This looks so dorky because it looks like you're you're like some kind of, what are those like quarter horses? You know, those the big like workhorses and they've got that like harness thing oh that oh um that yeah, like this is uh, this clocks looks you're not like talking about that. the clock scales are you are you thinking of the the, the big the, the whatever clock they're called. yeah yeah the, 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 the budweiser uh the budweiser horses are the yeah they the, the, those clydesdales or whatever clydesdales yeah something like that. i gotta tell you every now and then i bring out the lg tone studios and i fire up the little speakers and it's so nice having audio that kind of floats your head mm -hmm. and isn't like being funneled into your ears. I, and I know like, what is it? Bose has a neck band speaker. Uh, Bose has one. Really and I want to say also Sony has one. Does, doesn't Sony? That's have right. One? I think Sony had one too. Yeah. yeah I saw that. I, I feel like this is a, a woefully underrepresented. It's super nerdy. You're mm -hmm. never going to look cool wearing one of these, but it's so practical for having 
kind of a mobile speaker, mobile audio. It looks better than setup. holding a boombox, my friend. I'll just say that. As opposed to holding a boombox, runs like rocks, and, and you know, it'll be, uh, it'll be. The... So I also have like a bunch of earbuds on the table too. I, I don't. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It, so. Like I said, uh, I, I apologize now uh, to everybody in the chat. Uh, I made a massive mistake. I honestly <laughs> thought so. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I do have enough enough here to for everybody in the chat. You compete very well. Music. You did very very <laughs> like, well. I was like, dude, I have and they, I, yeah. Oh, and then of course, you know, I have a quite a few generations of Mobvoi ones or tick pods. Um, so have like, have you found that that it's earbuds specifically mm -hmm. are some of the hardest to to kind of like. Like I can't really give them away because it's, for me to have reviewed them, they have to a, be used. It's it's one of those very few things that you really can't. It's it's a weird it's like saying it's it, yeah, once you use it, it and you, you like want to be like here, use the use this Q tip that I just finished with. I was like about it, to say Q-tip, but it, yeah, it's a very personal thing. Uh, buds in general, earbuds, true wireless buds are are very much a personal experience because you are, you know, they are in, inside of your ear and so on. So I feel very uncomfortable. Like when I do give things to my wife or my son, I typically give them brand new ones, even to my wife. Yeah. So I make sure that her buds are hers and we we use the right ear tip and stuff like that. Um, and then for Omar, it's the same thing. Uh, so it's, it's one of those weird, like, I think it's, yeah, buds are very personal, um, in general. So I typically don't hand them when, once they're I've used. got a bunch of family members that I think would actually really dig some mm -hmm. of these that I know I'm not going to be going back to, like some of the LG tone true wireless, yep. really solid earbuds. They're very I mean, good. I, so you, they're interior, not by the way, my jam, but no, no, no. I, I was going to say, um, one of the other things which I think is a good solution sometimes is if you, do, if you buy replaceable buds and then clean them out. So that may also change the experience a little bit because. But the the problem I have, and, and you know what I really should do is is take, you know, you got to go manufacturer by manufacturer. Mm -hmm. So let's say I wanted to give my brother mm -hmm. my LG tones. No other ear tips fit the case. Oh, that's right. It's the, it, a lot of these cases are very tight. Um, like even even with these, the, even the buds that come in the uh, the Amaze Fit ones, once you use the extra large ear tips, the case itself has a hard time closing a little bit. Yeah, you yeah. have to kind of you have to kind of like force close it. Um, but you're right, you're right. And, and most manufacturers that make buds don't sell replacement tips. Like that's not something. Um, the one thing I did appreciate. I'm sure with, I could probably get some from LG, but at this point, getting anything out of there like sort of replacement or customer service protocol is just yeah, yeah. a pain. Yeah, no, I, I, I doubt, I don't doubt it at all. You're right. I don't think it's, it's, um, it's not as easy. Let's just say that you're right. It is not as easy. Uh, and it does get a little bit hard. I've, I've had a few times where I did receive an extra pair. Like this time I didn't, but I think, um, some people were, were getting, uh, two to three pairs of the, the Q30, no, the, uh, Liberty three pros. And I totally would have given one of those to my wife or my yeah. brother or somebody, um, uh, with my brother and stuff like that, I happen to had a few extra one pluses cause he's using the one plus eight pro. Um, so I just make sure that he was comfortable with it. So I gave him, you know, he's actually, I take the back. Sorry. He's on the seven pro, uh, which I think I needed to talk to him. Maybe I'll get him up to the eight pro because I think that'll be a good upgrade for him. His birthday just passed. So it'll be nice. Mm -hmm. I, I, I no, seriously. So, um, I, my, my, my aunt, I recently, uh, um, if a while back I reviewed the, um, the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro last year, I think. And um, she was rocking a Galaxy S6, not the S7, Ooh, the S6 yeah. since launch. So when she said she wanted a bigger phone, she wanted, obviously, she's a little bit harder of sight. She wants something bigger screen, bigger font, and so on. Um, I truly, like, I felt like this would be the right solution. And she's just over the moon. She's like, oh, my God, what is this? Like, the, uh, the generational cool. upgrade from where she was um, with TouchWiz, the way TouchWiz was on the S6. Uh, so that's what I really Actually, I'm shocked her battery didn't turn into a... I'm surprised. That's the thing. Like I'm surprised she's able to bomb. still use it. Like seriously, this was one of the, it was the first phone they went when they removed the, uh, for the S series where they went non-replaceable. Mm -hmm. It was also the year they decided to take out the SD card, which they brought it back on the S7. But you know what I mean? Like it, to me, the, 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 
and it was also known for bad battery life. That was the other thing. The S6 was, that was one of the things they used to be about like a whole bad battery life, short battery, but she seems to have rocked it for, for years. Like this is five, six years now. So it, she was due for an upgrade and she's very happy. Uh, my mother-in-law, the same thing, gave her the Pixel 3 XL and uh, the 3A XL. And she's over the moon. Last time we talked, she's like, she's very happy with the cameras. And I'm like, that was the reason why I handed it. You, you need a, you need a good camera. It's a nice budget phone. Um, and you know, like I said, I'm, I'm sad that the Pixel XL series is kind of dead for the most part. Um, yeah. But you know, it is, it's nice. So I'm with you. It, buds are tough to hand out. Um, smartphones a little bit less. Uh, hard. So, I mean, I end up with, you know, <clears throat> it's and it's uh, just funny too, because like, I don't review as many cans um, that I just keep. And mm -hmm. very often I'll even say to the manufacturers, like, do you want these back? And I'll say, yeah, sure, if you're not gonna keep them. And then like, I'm happy to kind of just get them back out of the office. Um, I mean, like the shelf right above my head is full of over ear headphones that I genuinely like. Mm -hmm. And I kind of feel like if I'm gonna get anything new, I've got to get rid of something that's on that shelf. Like I'm, <clears throat> I've got my, my strategy in good shape. And now anything that's in there, I mean, if, if I wanna get anything new, it's, it's really gotta be something that's gonna replace one of those options up there. I, you know, it's funny, like, you would probably sweat more into cans and cans hygienically are probably worse to clean and to oh absolutely to like because of the exactly because they because of the, the pads and stuff mm -hmm. but the stigma isn't the same if i were to clean up like my old sennheiser 599s so many members of my family would be like yeah let me rock those headphones like you know maybe it's something I about the, the 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 it's something to with the yeah it, it's more we're more self-conscious but i could be it's, like hey you know like these vivos are great active noise canceling sport ear but they were in your ears yeah yeah i know i know no, it, it, i can't it, it's it it's um i almost want to say it's the same feeling like when you find a piece a piece of your own hair in your own food, but then you find somebody else's hair in your food, and suddenly it becomes like, oh my god, this is the like, do not come to me, move away. You know what I mean? Like that level of, yeah. uh, it, it's it's weird. It's 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 it's, it's no, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's how it's I feel. So gross. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, my wife always was like, you know, either way, uh, <laughs> it's married life. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Hilarious. it's a different type of show. Uh, man. Uh, Thank you very much, Aditya, by the way, to, uh, for my, my brother's birthday. Yeah, it was uh, at the beginning of the month. So um, he it is one of those really interesting things when um, I, I get to see the excitement. Like I said, he's rocking a phone from two years ago, and he is over the moon with the performance of what the uh, OnePlus 7 Pro is doing. Um, yeah. My aunt's going to be running uh, something that, again, I more than likely is way overpowered to what she needs. But... I felt like it, she was overdue for a trip. I mean, she's, by the way, this is my aunt in Lebanon. This is not Lebanon. This is not that my aunt that lives here. So it, it was, uh, she's, like I said, a, a little bit older. She needs something bigger, bigger font and so on. So I originally I was going to give her uh, one of the smaller ones, but then I'm like, no, we need to go with a big display um, and uh, a decent processor that this is probably going to carry her for another few more years because that's the, that's her cycle, right? It's, it's, it's more of yeah. the few years uh, upgrade, not like well, the way we do it. I think that's most people's. Oh no, abs cycle, absolutely. Though, you know? um, like I said, I was surprised. Um, and then my uncle, I gave him, I think was the honor 20. Remember the, the, we talked yeah. about that not that long ago. So anyways, uh, Honor families have a good phone. It was a good phone, dude. And did you see the new pictures of the honor 50? Yeah. finally coming back with google play services um i'm excited for honor very happy for them glad that they're able to actually start showing up because we're starting to see them i think the magic 3 was announced mm -hmm. as a device that's coming up with service google play services but honor 50 now has it like we've seen people with videos i think super staff unboxed and, and it. it's generally the huawei that it, it's still we we're hoping to get now it, just separate of well separate every, every time they refer to honor it's always referred to as the huawei spin-off honor um and you know it is it, it's going to take them some time before they're able to generate the, and produce their own devices if they're going to start yeah. going with their designs or if they're they're still going to try to leverage what huawei produces 
again, don't get me wrong. Honor was known I, for I that. I feel like there's there's going to be still some sort of licensing and hardware. Design oh, I, I, agreement because that, that's how yeah. they were able to keep their cost down. They didn't have to do the R and D. You know, right? That it was more mm -hmm. about using existing hardware, changing a few things here and there, and then giving you that type of experience that was more uh, sure. affordable and, of course, accessible to more people. So. Yeah, I, I think we're we're gonna be. I, I'm I'm really excited to see if Honor can start rebuilding some of the international. I and that's what my my hope is, uh, especially in Europe because that's where they were big. Um, so we'll we'll have to they see. They were how that... even starting to to make some solid inroads in Canada and in the oh, United States. In the U.S., I, remember... it'll take a while for that to happen again. Oh, I, absolutely, but, come back into you know the... from Honor Eight is still. Like one of the all time most commented on phones I've ever held. the the View Twenty they had me do a hands on private experience in Burbank for uh, it was right after CES they gave me a few extra devices to show off and it was serious like it was a crazy experience but that was like right right around that end like the January before mm -hmm. the May thing but yeah a whole bunch of things kind of come up. Um, I, I wish them the best, and I'm really excited. So I, I, I reached out to them a couple of times just to see if they had any 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 units of the 50, because I would love to. Uh, the Honor 20 was the last one I actually got a chance to play with, uh, with GMS, um, and then we've had the 30 and the 40, but then the 15 obviously looks pretty, the very nice. I like the one with the holographic cover, but we'll see. Um, I think that was mostly what's going on for me. I have one more video coming out tomorrow, and I think you said you're going to be pushing out the Vivo uh, tomorrow for the camera yeah. the camera review. So the main um, camera deep dive is in early access on the Patreon. It's a 45 minute video. So popcorn um, is required. Make sure you include the Does it come with a bag of popcorn? Hasn't finished uh, doing the 4K. Oh, okay. On YouTube. So right now it's still currently it's been over a day, 24 hours. It's been over 24 hours and it's yeah. still in 1080p land. Um, okay. But yeah, it's a 45 minute look at the cameras on the X70 Pro Plus. So mm -hmm. it's 45 minutes. I didn't even get to the X70 Pro. No, it's just the Pro Plus. It, it's um, you're you're giving it justice. You're you're giving it the time that it needs, which I feel like um, it's nice. I, to I see couldn't you go find back any to way to to do that <laughs> and, and do both phones. So um, it's it's a lot. Are you pushing the 45 to YouTube though? Or are you going to be doing that? The typical, no, uh, no, 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 the no. So, so the, the, the full deep dive where it's all of the, the more sort of, uh, segmented, you know, like all of the different categories that I, that I try to talk about things like the, uh, exposure settings, saturation, mm -hmm. low light performance, video, white balance, lens quality, the autofocus action, each one of those individual chunks that's mm -hmm. going to the Patreon. What's going to go up on YouTube tomorrow is the camera conclusion, where mm -hmm. it's just the main sort of ending bits. You know, the the I call it the camera conclusion. It's just the kind of conclusions that I've come to on talking about that. So that's yeah. still probably going to end up being like a ten minute video. No, I, and <laughs> I think no, you stuff. need to give it. You need to give it. Uh, you need to give it a fair shake. Uh, fair shake, and I feel like the. Um, a deeper dive is to, is what is expected. I'd love to. Well, my goal essentially is to be able to see what the uh, the new setup is. You know that the deeper dive. You know what are the new, what are the new uh, the new landmarks. <laughs> the new landmarks. That's actually pretty much what I'm going to look for. So so um, no creepy tunnel, uh, no creepy gate, but I do have a new creepy path in any, my neighborhood. Any new and, uh, overpass? Or are we? Are we? Are you? Did you go back to? So, the I did one sample shot just to try out the long exposure mode. Yeah. And there is a freeway section, but I'm out in the burbs now. Oh, And okay. the traffic just isn't quite as nice to shoot. You know, like when I was off the 101 closer oh, to... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Clo it, closer I, to the 405, it was, I was gonna say, way easier to get those great headlight and taillight streaks. Yeah. Now... It's not as not as good. He'll get one line. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I, I, I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, so I, I will say this uh, for everybody w watching the show right now. Tomorrow morning, there's going to be an interesting piece of art that <laughs> is going to be coming out. <laughs> um, 
it'll be interesting. Let's just say that. Just keep, you'll you'll see it in the morning when everybody. That works. That, that's what that's the best way I can say it. Um, it is one of those. It was a surprise. It came in today. It was a massive surprise, um, and it is one of those just um, like it made me smile. Like my wife and I were just smiling. The um, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. That was primarily primarily what it is. Uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing your camera review. I'm actually pushing out my S Pen video that I promised on Monday. Nice. But I got over literally like seriously every day. I wake up and I'm like, oh crap, I'm behind on something. Um, it's one of those. It was exciting though. It's weird. It, it, it was busy but exciting. I'm liking the shorts format. I want to mm -hmm. find a way to push it. I want to push it a little bit more, kind of like how we you've been doing it more of like having the quick, um, like a little bit of a quick back and forth, a little bit uh, on that, where as opposed to just showcase, because I feel like it's mm -hmm. easier to do it. But um, the format is nice. I did get notified by YouTube. I didn't get any of the funds available for shorts. I was very sad. <laughs> I, I mean, like, and at this point, it's even just the eye rolling. Insult. Oh, I, I, I was, I laughed, I laughed. My like, I'm like, okay, thank you for letting me know. I didn't, Thanks, I didn't realize I was, I wasn't. How about I didn't know. letting me know if anything changes there? But I, it I, I mean, it's just ridiculous at this point. It, it is. They can't um, even. It, <laughs> teasing bit. Uh, DT has missed. Uh, yeah, no, I, I'm pretty sure you guys will will enjoy seeing what it is. Uh, but you know, I, that, that, I'm going to try to relax it. I have a, a little bit of a background thing. Sunday is going to be a, a, I haven't seen my cousins for, for quite some time. Uh, mm -hmm. One of them for over 10 years and another one since I was 10. That's how long I haven't seen them in person. And I'm getting to have a, a nice little sit down luncheon, a breakfast thing on Sunday. That's great. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that, how that yeah. goes. I don't, I'm like, That's you know awesome, what I mean? Like though. it's one of those, I'm anxious, but I'm also excited. Um, and it's nice to to kind of see more of the uh, Bay family <laughs> per se, yeah. uh, you know, and kick it up there. So that was my plan for the weekend. And of course, Saturday morning with tech as usual. So excited. That's awesome. Congratulations. That's that's kind of a big deal, especially for all of the sort of family experiences. That... It is, and, and, and I don't have a lot of family in the near, in the near, in the very close proximity. I mean, other than my brother, obviously, that's always going to be. Uh, but it's more about um, he's visiting from Illinois and he was like, Hey, I'm going to be in the LA area. I'm like, dude, let's do it. Let's set it up. Um, it's a little bit of a drive, but um, I'm going to enjoy every, every mile <laughs> in my Tesla. Um, and um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, just, you, you got to make, you have to enjoy what you can and you got to find those pockets of time where you're able to unwind. For sure. Um, it's not going to get easier. It's going to get busier for us, especially within the next couple of weeks. Well, especially, um, I'm hoping you and I can also do some, like I said, collaboration once you get your yeah. duo and so on. So, um, look forward to seeing a little more things from us. So definitely very nice. Um, sure. but with that being said, I feel like we're at that sweet time, sweet spot in that timeline of, of our show, uh, where we kind of start saying thank you very much to everybody to hang out with us, hanging out with us. Uh, Gary, Aditya, Rinesh, um, Andrew, I know, jumped in, Jeff, uh, as well as Greg jumped in as well uh, in there. And I think a few other, sorry, I filled up my desk with with buds that I need to reach for my mouse. <laughs> it's just like one of those, like, how do you do it? Now, uh, Michael Corrigan is, was in there as well. We have uh, Darren was in there. Gabriela, Gab Gabaletta. Gab Gabaletta's Davin. in there. Sorry, I always messed it. Davin Davis in there. Of course, Aditya, and I think I may have caught everybody in there. And then we had a probably... read. Yes, it's the first time Sorry. I've noticed that name. So uh, that, that it, that's the that's the way we do it. Yeah, definitely. Um, so thank you very much for hanging out with us for another episode of the best of our week. Um, keep it with us. We'll be back next week for another episode uh, with more things. Oh, and congrats on your new, uh, you know case uh it's this small is rig. this is like a fidget spinner for grown-ups i i love <laughs> it, it and it, i can't help but like it looks like pro, fiddle bro. with it whenever i'm just kind of <laughs> you don't need to no 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 absolutely so we'll see you guys next week for another episode take care i'll see you guys saturday for the best of our week bye-bye for now and be good take care Bam.